Hi guys, Ryu here with Naravate for Blender. This one we're gonna be fixing the stream sheet. Now, at a glance it looks everything is fine, but uh, two issues, okay? One of them is quite obvious, and uh, I kind of fucked up with this one. Um, you see this thickening on the pipe here? It doesn't continue on the other side. So when I apply this to uh, you know any shape really, that's uh, going around, so like cylindrical or anything that repeats, really, right? Uh, let's just drop it in here, put some mud, and uh, let's bevel it. And, uh, you know, let's drop it somewhere here, okay? So, let's go to decal machine, and I think it's this one. I think. See that? It just cuts off the shading here and it just looks a bit, you know, nasty. Yeah, so, no, people probably won't notice that, but I will and this will annoy me. So that's one. And two, I have a shading problem. So this is probably going to be unnoticeable by most people. But, like I said again, this will annoy me. See this breakage here? That's one. And there's one more here. And that is caused probably by lack of um, lack of sharp edges. Okay, so we need to fix this, right? You see, that's the problem here. And this one should be a little bit further away. So what we're going to do, select this pipe, right? Um, control plus this and simply GX and move it in here, okay? So what this will do, it will ensure that... Um, I'm going to do the same thing here. Select this, control plus and GX and move it off. Come on. Okay, so when the sheet breaks and this is this is the size of a trim sheet. It will break here, but the thickness of this pipe is going to be identical on both sides, and this will continue. This one is offset, which is cool. Now we need to fix the shading here, and I guarantee you there are simply no hard edges in here. See, there you go, that's what I'm talking about. So we're going to select this bit and this, these bits and simply uh, run a sharper edge here. So control a shift sharp and through calculate sharps and this should solve the problem let me see what's going on here uh, the boolean is not applied right so let's apply the modifier here so operations multiply and now we're going to recalculate sharpens again so there you go that should do it so we need sharps all around here and around this these edges and this one is unnecessary and same here um, so operations and smart apply and then recalculate sharpens and it's gonna ensure the sharps go all around here all around this shape okay that's perfect and everything else is fine so these were the problems and uh, we fixed this so now it should be now it should be all right okay so i'm gonna power save power save this and i'm gonna be rebaking new maps with with grabdoc because you know baking in blender is bloody awful so i'm using grabdoc to do that and now everything should be fine okay so maps are baked and now you can open a new scene go to machine creation trims initialize let's clean the maps and let's load new maps okay so we're gonna be using normal AO curvature and height okay so let's go to look def uh, first of all what i'm gonna do is i'm going to fix the parallax because it's insane so i'm going to expand this panel and drop it down to zero and then sort of lift it a little bit yeah 
but not too much so I don't want to see these awful breakages and circuit pulls you know that really annoys me that's good enough for me okay all right so now let's start trimming it again and unfortunately we have to do all the trims from scratch so so I'm gonna make one and So I think we're done, and that's enough. We're going to trim this, okay, and let Deco Machine do its job. It's gonna take a few seconds because it's a lot of trims. I'm also working on a 4K textures because the quality is much better. Like for example, you see these tiny details here, kind of like a strip with details. This would probably not be visible on a 2K map, so I'm using 4K maps. And if you use one map for a model, 4K maps, so even 8K maps are okay. Especially when you use trim sheets, you know, because trim sheets are used mostly for larger pieces of geo, like walls, floors. So you want to have, be you know, be uh, better resolution. Um, you don't want to have muddy floors and it's just kind of like, you know, f fuzzy details. So 4K is probably... Uh, I think better way to go but it depends so let's just create a name because I'm worried that sometimes uh, blender crushes I'm using 2.92 so I'm gonna add it to the library And now you see this pipe is properly mirrored and the sheeting is fixed. You see now that's clean. Now this is what I call, look at the details, man. You, you can't really set, you know, tell if it's a geo or, or a decal, I mean. All right guys, and that's how you fix a dec um, trim sheet. This one got fixed. The sheeting here is perfect, you know. So we are good to go. So let's test this. Um, let's go to cylinder and put it in here alt them and drop some bevel and some loops and uh, you macro them scale them a bit scale the bottom drop some control loops in here in fact before we do that let's uh chair for this inset inset again bring it down Control one to make it a bit smoother. Bevel is insane, so we're gonna make it a bit smaller. There we go. So now we can have some fun. Also, we need some, you know, parameter loops. Uh, so the trim sheet doesn't encroach on on the beveled areas. And we can try this now. So D 
and let's grab this oh that's not what i wanted to do it's gonna drop all the powers at once uh, one more time yep that's nice and it's really clean too awesome so let's change it to something else adjust What is this? Oh, this is just a tr uh, just the edge, right? Uh, that's pretty cool. This is a little bit too long, so what we need to do is scale this. So D adjust and scale it, make it a little bit smaller so it's not so stretched. There you go. That's better. Cool. Sometimes, you know, you need to think what detail to put where. That's important. You can just slap these trims willy-nilly. Because sometimes they simply make no sense. Yeah, it works pretty nicely. Where is this pipe, the big one? I want to find a big pipe. this one right yep okay now it's connected properly you see doesn't break anymore so that's good stuff I wonder what is this um, let's fix this s adjust scale there we go that was a problem is on the, on the edge of uh, of this thickening yeah that's pretty cool all right, superb, so it's working. Now I got also standalone details like this one, so I can, you know, drop them into the scene, which is pretty cool. So that's awesome. Let's try the, tr <coughs> Let's try the top rim and see what we're gonna get here. Yeah, really nice control two, make it a bit more smooth. Yeah, it looks really clean. Awesome. Well, guys, thanks for watching and catch you next video. Well, guys, uh, thanks for watching. The trim sheet was created with uh, hard ups and box cutter. Um, there will be, you know, a murder to do it without it. So if you uh, would like to purchase the add-ons, go through the links, which are in the video description. And uh, thank you for watching. Catch you next video.